Welcome everyone to my newest deck tech. Today we're going to review one of the new Modern Horizon 2 commanders, uh, Karth the Lion. Before we get into it though, I would like to remind you to please like, comment, and subscribe on the video. Also, if you follow me on twitch.tv slash Jarvis underscore Moonbeam, on Twitter and Instagram at Jarvis underscore Moonbeam, and join my Discord by following the link in the description below. But Karth the Lion is two, a black and a green, a legendary human warrior that's a 3-5. When he enters the battlefield or a planeswalker you control dies, look at the top seven cards of your library. You may reveal a planeswalker card from among them and put it into your hand. Put the rest in the bottom of your library in a random order. Planeswalker loyalty abilities you activate cost an additional plus one to activate. And what that means is when you activate an ability, uh, adding or removing a loyalty counter is actually a uh, cost of that ability. So you get to add a loyalty counter every time you activate an ability. So if that ability would be minus two, it actually only becomes a minus one instead. Now, because of this, we really did go the Super Friends route. So let's go into our Planeswalkers. Nissa Voice of Zendikar, one green green. Um, plus one, you get a zero one green plant creature token. Minus two, you put a plus one plus one counter on each creature you control. And minus seven, you gain X life, draw X cards, where X is the number of lands you control. You'll notice a theme that a lot of my Planeswalkers will go and make creatures. Uh, they'll have card draw, and they'll also have removal. Nissa Basswood Seer, it's a flip Planeswalker, so it's a uh, two and a green for Nissa. And then when it enters the battlefield, you may search your library for a basic forest card, reveal it, and put it into your hand, then shuffle your library. And then whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control, if you control seven or more, you get to exile Nissa. And return it to the battlefield transformed underneath your control. Uh, the plus one is reveal the top card of your library. If it's a land card, you put it onto the battlefield, otherwise put it into your hand. Minus two is you get a four or four green elemental creature token named Bishai, the Awoken World. The minus seven is you untap up to six target lands, they become six six elemental creatures that are still lands. Garrick, Wild Speaker, two and two green, plus one, untap two target lands. Minus one, put a 3-3 three, three green beast creature token onto the battlefield. Really nice is that it's really a zero ability with uh, Karth. Minus four, creatures you control get plus three, plus three, and getting trample until end of turn. Liliana of the Dark Realms, two black black, plus one, search your library for a swamp card, reveal it, and put it into your hand. Minus three, target creature gets plus x, minus x, or minus x, minus x, where x is the number of swamps you control. And the minus six is swamps you control have Tap, add four black mana to your mana pool. Liliana, Waker of the Dead is two black black. Uh, plus one is each player discards a card, and each opponent who can't loses three life. Minus three is target creature gets minus X, minus X until end of turn, where X is the number of cards in your graveyard. And the minus seven is you get an emblem at the beginning of combat on your turn, put target creature card from a graveyard onto the battlefield under your control, it gains haste. Important is that it says from a graveyard, not your graveyard. Because we're running only like six or seven creatures in the entire deck. Tybar Kel, two green green. Uh, LZ Control have tap add black mana. But plus one is put a plus one plus one counter on up to one target elf on tap it. It gains death touch. The zero ability is create a one one green elf warrior creature token. The minus six, uh, which we'll never really do, is get an emblem whenever you cast a elf spell, gain taste until end of turn, and you draw two cards. Braska Golgari Queen, two a black and a green. Plus two, you may sacrifice another permanent. If you do, you gain one life and draw a card. Minus three, destroy target non-land permanent with CMC three or less. Minus nine, you get an emblem with whenever a creature you control deals combat damage to a player. That player loses the game. Braska Swarm's Eminence is two Golgari Golgari. Whenever a creature you control with death touch deals damage to a player or planeswalker, put a plus one plus one counter on that creature. The minus two is create a plus one plus one black assassin creature token with death touch. And whenever this creature deals damage to a planeswalker, destroy that planeswalker. Fraley's Atlanta Wars Fury, three green green. Plus two, create a one one green elf druid creature token with tap add green mana. Minus two, destroy target artifact or enchantment. Minus six, draw a card for each green creature you control. Gurik, Primal Hunter. Two green, green, green. 
plus one, create a three three green beast creature token. Minus three, draw cards equal to the greatest power among creatures you control. Minus six, create a six six green warm creature token for each land you control. Now what's nice about this with Karthal, you only need to plus one him twice before you can minus six him to go and get that green worm creature token for each land. Liliana Bess, three black black, plus one target player discards a card, minus two, search your library for a card, then shuffle your library and put that card on top of it. Minus eight, put all creature cards in all graveyards onto the battlefield under your control. Liliana the Necromancer, three black black, Plus one target player loses two life. Minus one return target creature card from your graveyard to your hand. Minus seven destroy up to two target creatures. Put two creature cards from graveyards onto the battlefield under your control. Nissa Vital Force, three green green. Plus one untap target land you control. Until your next turn it becomes a five five elemental creature with haste. It's still a land. Minus three return target permanent card from your graveyard to your hand. Minus six, you get an emblem with whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control, you may draw a card. Nissa who shakes the world, three green green. Whenever you tap a forest for mana, add an additional green. Uh, green. Plus one, put three plus one, one plus one counters on up to one target non-creature landing control. Untap it, it becomes a zero zero elemental creature with vigilance and haste. That's still land. The minus eight, you get an emblem with lands you control have indestructible. Search your library for any number of forest cards, put them onto the battlefield tapped, then shuffle your library. Nissa World Waker, 3 green green. Plus 1, target land you control becomes a 4-4 four, four elemental creature with trample. It's still in land. Plus 1, untap up to 4 target forest. And then minus 7, search your library for any number of basic land cards, put them onto the battlefield, then shuffle your library. Those lands become 4-4 four, four elemental creatures with trample that are still lands. Obnixilus Reignited, 3 black black. Plus 1, you draw a card and you lose 1 life. Minus 3, destroy target creature. Minus 8, target opponent gets an emblem with whenever a player draws a card, you lose 2 life. Obnixilus of the Black Oath, 3 black black. Each opponent loses 1 life, you gain life equal to the life lost this way. Minus 2, put a 5-5 five, five black demon creature token with flying onto the battlefield, you lose 2 life. Minus 8, you get an emblem with 1 black. Sacrifice a creature, you gain X life and draw X cards, Rex is the sacrifice creature's power. Tevish Zot, Doom of Fools, 4 and a black, plus 2 create two zero one black throw creature tokens. Plus 1, you may sacrifice another creature or planeswalker. If you do, draw 2 cards, then draw another card if the sacrifice permanent was a commander. Minus 10, gain control of all commanders, put all commanders from the, battle, from the command zone onto the battlefield under your control. Vivian Reed, 3 green green. Look at the top 4 cards of your library. You may reveal a creature or land card from among them and put it into your hand. Put the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. Minus 3, destroy target artifact, enchantment, or creature with flying. Minus 8, you get an emblem with creatures you control. Get plus 2, plus 2, and have vigilance, trample, and indestructible. Vivian, Monsters Advocate, 3 green green. Uh, the static ability of look at the top card of your library at any time is nice, and you may cast creatures for spells from the top of your library, it isn't going to happen very often. But plus one, create a 3-3 three, three green vigilance creature, to, a beast green, uh, sorry, 3-3 three, three green beast creature token, put your voice of a vigilance counter, a reach counter, or a trample counter on it. The minus two is whenever you cast your next creature spell this turn, search your library for a creature card with lesser converted mana cost and put it on the battlefield and shuffle your library. We're only playing her for the beasts. Baraska the Unseen, 3 black green, plus 1 until your next turn whenever a creature deals combat damage to Baraska, destroy that creature. Minus 3, destroy target non-land permanent. Minus 7, create 3 one, one black assassin creature tokens with whenever this creature deals combat damage to a player, that player loses the game. Garrick, Cursed Huntsman, 4 black green. Zero abilities, create 2 2-2 two, two black and green wolf creature tokens with when this creature dies, put a loyalty counter on each Garrick you control. So that's nice because it's each Garrick. So each individual Garrick Swimming Walker we have in this deck would get that counter. Minus 3, destroy target creature, draw a card. Minus 6, you get an emblem with creatures you control, get plus 3, plus 3, and have trample. Liliana Dreadhorde General, 4 black black. Whatever a creature you control dies, draw a card. Plus 1, you get a 2-2 two, two black zombie creature token. 
minus four, each player sacrifices two creatures. Minus nine, each opponent chooses a permit they control of each permanent type and sacrifices the rest. Professor Onyx for Black Black has maze craft, one of your casts or copy an instant or sorcery. Each opponent loses two life and you gain two life. The plus one, you lose one life and look at the top three cards of your library, put one into your hand and the rest into your graveyard. Minus three is each opponent sacrifices a creature with the greatest power among creatures that player controls. And minus eight is each opponent may discard a card. If they don't, they lose three life and you repeat this process six more times. Sorn Markov, three black, black, black. Plus two, it deals two damage to target creature or player and you gain two life. Minus three, target opponent's life total becomes a 10. Minus seven, you control target player's next turn. Ugin the Ineffable, six generic. Color is supposed to cost, cast two less to cast. Plus one, you exile the top part of your library face down and look at it. And then you create a 2 2 colorless spirit creature token. When that token leaves the battlefield, put the exile card into your hand. Minus three, destroy target permanent that's one or more colors. Vraska Relic a Seeker. Four, a black and a green. Plus two, create a 2 2 black pirate creature token with menace. Minus three, destroy target artifact creature or enchantment. You create a colorless treasure artifact token with tap, sacrifice this artifact, and add one mana of any color to your mana pool. Minus 10, target player's life total becomes 1. Garrick Aprox Predator, 5 black green. Plus 1, destroy another target planeswalker. Plus 1, put a 3 3 black creature token with death touch onto the battlefield. Minus 3, destroy target creature. You gain life equal to its toughness. Minus eight, target opponent gets an emblem and with whenever a creature attacks you, it gets plus five, plus five, and gains trample until end of turn. Vraska Regal Gorgon, five black green, plus two, put a plus one, plus one counter on up to one target creature. That creature gains menace until end of turn. Minus three, destroy target creature. Minus 10, for each creature card in your graveyard, put a plus one, plus one counter on each creature you control. Ugin the Spirit Dragon, 8 generic, plus 2. Ugin the Spirit Dragon deals 3 damage to target creature or player. Minus X, exile each permanent with converted mana cost X or less. That's 1 or more colors. Minus 10, you gain 7 life, draw 7 cards, then put up to 7 permanent cards from your hand onto the battlefield. That's all the Planeswalkers. Now let's look at the synergies that these Planeswalkers will go and get to take advantage of. Confront the past is X and a black. Choose one. You return target planeswalker card with mana value X or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. And then if you're playing against a problem some planeswalker, you can remove twice X loyalty counters from target player planeswalker and opponent controls. Kamal's Druidic Vow. X green green. It is a legendary sorcery, so either my commander or one of the planeswalkers will need to be on the battlefield. Uh, or what I do have one or two legendary creatures as well. But look at the top X cards of your library. You may put any number of land and or legendary permanent cards with a covenant mana cost X or less from among them onto the battlefield for the rest into your graveyard. So this is a way to go and get a lot of planeswalkers for a very cheap amount. The Elder Spell, black, black. Destroy any number of target planeswalkers. Choose a planeswalker you control, put two loyalty counters on it for each planeswalker destroyed this way. So if you want to go and ult one of your planeswalkers, you can choose your own, or you can also choose your opponents. The Chain Veil is for generic. At the beginning of your end step, if you didn't activate a loyalty ability of a planeswalker this turn, you lose two life. But most importantly, for four and tapping it, each planeswalker you control, you may activate one of its loyalty abilities once this turn, as though none of its loyalty abilities have been activated this turn. Oath of Nyssa is a single green. When it enters the battlefield, look at the top three cards of your library. You may reveal a creature, land, or planeswalker cards from among them. Put it into your hand and put the rest on the bottom. You may spend mana as though or mana of any color to cast planeswalker spells. Oath of Liliana is two and a black. When it enters the battlefield, each opponent sacrifices a creature. At the beginning of each end step, if a planeswalker enters the battlefield under your control this turn, put a 2 black, two, two black zombie creature token onto the battlefield. Doubling season for and a green. 
If an effect will create one or more tokens under your control, it creates twice that many of those tokens instead. If an effect will put one or more permanents on a permanent control, it puts twice that many of those counters on that permanent instead. Most important thing to remember with this is when it comes to planeswalkers entering the battlefield, their loyalty counters get doubled, not when you're activating the planeswalkers because that's a cost, not an effect. The Eldest Reborn, four and a black. First stage of the saga, each opponent sacrifices a creature or a planeswalker. Second stage is each opponent discards a card. Third stage, put target creature or planeswalker from a graveyard onto the battlefield under your control. Evolution Sage, two and a green. Whenever a land enters the battlefield under control, proliferate. Pure Imaginative Rascal, two and a green. If one or more counters will be put on a permanent you, your team controls, that many plus one of each of those kinds of counters are put on that permanent instead. This has a couple cool synergies because this is when you put it on the permanent. So whenever you uh, activate a loyalty ability that adds a counter, pure adds that many ability counters plus one. But what's really neat with Karth, since the plus one, since the ability of Karth says that each Planeswalker loyalty ability has an addition, uh, adds plus one to it. So you, you add plus two and you minus. So a lot of times those minus ones actually net you positive one. Minus twos are net zero then if you have Pier and Karth both out at the same time. Born and Click Monstrous Raider, four green green. Trample Haste, if you would put one or more counters on a permanent or player, put twice that many of each of those kinds of counters on that permanent or player instead. If an opponent would put one or more counters on a permanent or player, they put half that many of each of those kinds of counters on that permanent or player rounded down. So this lets you ult Planeswalkers pretty instantaneously if they're on the battlefield at the same time. Um, and this also works well with cards because you are adding that loyalty counter, so you put two on right away before, uh, as, as well as minusing. So it's a good way to go and get that minus two to equal zero again. Now, uh, interaction and other good stuff like mana rocks um, that wouldn't really fit in any other category. Eternal Witness, one green green. When it enters the battlefield, you may return target card from a graveyard to your hand. Opposition Agent, two and a black has flash and you control your opponents while they search their libraries and one opponent is searching their library they exile each card they find you may play those cards for as long as they remain exiled you may spend mana as though were men of any color to cast them assassin's trophy black green destroy target permanent and opponent controls its controller may search a library for a basic land card put onto the battlefield and shuffle their library bar seek one in green search your library for a plains island swamp or mountain card Put onto the battlefield tap, then shuffle your library. Heroic Intervention, one and a green. Permanent control gain hexproof and indestructible until end of turn. Three visits, one and a green. Search your library for a forest card. Put that card onto the battlefield and shuffle your library. Balgad Recovery, two and a green. Return target card from your graveyard to your hand. And then the flip side is a land Balgad Sanctuary that enters the battlefield tap and taps for green. Cultivate, two and a green. Search your library for up to two basic land cards. Reveal those cards, put one onto the battlefield tapped, and the other into your hand, then shuffle. Crossing Grip, two and a green. Split second, destroy target artifact or enchantment. Toxic Deluge, two and a black. As an additional cost to cast a spell, pay X life. All creatures get minus X, minus X until end of turn. Coin Ritual, two, a black and a green. Destroy each non-land permanent with mana value 2 or less. Add black or green for each permanent destroyed this way. This could act as a mega ramp spell, since a lot of people play mana value 2 or less. And the only ones that we have that are mana value 2 or less are really our mana rocks. Damnation, 2 black black. Destroy all creatures, they can't be regenerated. Force of Vigor, 2 green green. Um, if it's not your turn, you may exile green cards from your hand rather than pay the spell's mana cost. You can destroy up to two artifacts and or enchantments. Soul Ring, Arcane Signet, Belwar Stone, Lightning Greaves, Swiftfoot Boots, Talisman of Resilience, which is the Golgari Talisman. And now we're to our land base. We are playing 35 lands plus the MDFC. 
So we are playing Ancient Tomb with Castle Lockpoint Command Tower. The Golgari ba uh, Pathway, which is Dark Boar or Slither Boar Pathway. Exotic Orchard, Fabled Passage, Bajuka Bog. Interplanar Beacon, Karn's Bastion, Atlanta War Waste. Necro Blossom Snarl, Overgrown Tomb, Prismatic Vista, Cabal Coffers, Breath Aquary Tower, Temple of Malady, Undergrowth Stadium, Herborb Tomb of Yagma, and War Room. For our basic lands, we are running 8 basic forests and 8 basic swamps. Now, this is the end of the deck tech for this video. Let me know what you think. What cards would you put in? Different planeswalkers, different synergies that I didn't think of. What cards do you not like that I put in? Let me know, leave a comment, and remember to like and subscribe as well. But until next time, have a good one.